another day with me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Welcome to another vlog. I'm so excited to hang out with you guys. I got groceries. You guys, the best thing that's ever happened, I feel like that I found out last year, it's called Shop Ship from Target. If you guys don't know what it is, it is so, so, so worth it, in my opinion. When you cannot make it to Target, you just basically go on the Target app, put everything you want in the cart, and they will have it delivered to your door, and you can choose like what time you want it to be delivered, and it is so convenient. I started using it last year because of COVID. We weren't able to make it to Target, or I just like, Really did not want to leave the house because of everything going on with the pandemic so I started using it and literally I've been obsessed since I haven't signed up for like the monthly thing I think you can pay like $40 for the month but I don't use it that much I think I probably use it like once or twice a month but it is so worth it so we did that this morning and they just dropped it off I am going to put this away. Today, my sister-in-law, Kim, is coming over. I think you guys might have met Kim from my birthday party, but I don't remember. So, Carlos, it's actually one of the first things Carlos ever told me when we started dating. I don't know if I ever told you guys the dating story. I feel like I have, but I don't know if a lot of you know, and I feel like some of us are new, but Carlos and I met on a dating app called OkCupid, and we started text, or we started talking on the app, and we were only like talking on the app for like 10 minutes. Minutes. And then Carlos asked to call me and we ended up on the phone for two hours And then he was like, are you hungry? So we ended up going to Buffalo Wild Wings and sitting there until like 1 or 2 in the morning So we literally met on the app talked on the phone and had our first date all in the same night um, And I remember one of the first things he said to me. He was like my sister's also named Kim But she's actually a Kimberly So we call her Kimmy and then everyone calls me Kim and that's how we can like figure out who we're talking about so Kim is vegetarian and she's coming over today to hang out with us for lunch and just have like a mental health day. Those are important. And so I'm gonna make veggie bowls. But for Carlos and I, we'll put steak in it. But for Kim, I got plant-based sausages. So that's what I'm making for us. I'm gonna do broccoli and cauliflower. As you can tell, I was really lazy. I did not wanna go to the store. And then I also got shrimp and salmon. And then I got two more coffees. You guys, the Target Shop Ship is amazing and so convenient when you cannot make it to the store. Okay, I'm gonna put this away and we'll start making the vegetable bowls. She'll be here in 30 minutes if she's on time, but I don't know. Okay, so we are going to do like a little rice bowl. That's what I'm imagining. We're gonna do like a little rice bowl. We have white rice and then we have all of our veggies. And then for Kim, I got her this at Target. This is an apple and maple plant-based breakfast sausages. It looks amazing. So I hope it tastes really good for her. I wanted to make sure that, oh, it's, it's also vegan. I wanted to make sure that we didn't use any meat. So I'm gonna cook this for Kim first and then we'll do this. And then for Carlos and I, we are doing sirloin steak in ours. Vegetables are like the easiest thing to make. And then I also got shrimp and salmon, but that can be for like dinner time, you know? So I think that's what we're doing. And then Carlos will probably want a fried egg. Carlos loves eggs. He'll probably have eggs on everything. So I'm going to start with the rice. Let's get that going. I don't think we'll be eating that much rice, so I'll use my mini rice cooker instead of my big one. I honestly only whip out my big one for like parties, <laughs> but this one just makes the perfect amount. Ooh, I wanna show you my new rice container. Come, come, come. It is so exciting. Okay, so you guys know how I was like storing my rice down here for a while? Look what I found on Amazon. I found a rice container. It's so cute. It has wheels in the back. I think it holds like, I don't know, man. I'll have to look it up. I'll link it down below for you guys. If you guys store your rice, or actually you can store absolutely anything on here or in here, the lid opens up like this. It's so cute. And it came with this measuring cup. This is one cup. And it's just so nice. And that's how I store my rice. I'm literally so obsessed. Now I don't have to like, get down on the floor and like pour everything into my rice cooker. This is the new baby. I love it. Look how cute this is, you guys. Yes, we love it. I think I'm gonna do one, two. I'm using my brand new caraway pans, pots and pans actually, because we are going to boil these. Mm, I don't know if I want to boil them or saute them, but 
Look how cute, I got a new color. This is the cream one, which I love. I used to have the coral one, which I gave the whole collection to my mom after we redid her kitchen. But I just got this one. This one I bought with my own money, but Caraway is actually sending me another set. And I think they're sending me in a different color sage. And they're also giving me a discount code for you guys. So I'm very excited about that. So if you guys have been interested in these pots and pans, highly recommend, I've been using them for like 10 months now. You guys see it in every single video of mine. I love them, they're non-stick, literally eggs will just fall right off and they're so easy to clean as well. So yeah, I love them. This is probably like my favorite pot from them. It literally makes everything, I always make soup in this. I think I'm gonna make everything and then whatever's left over, I'll pack it up for Kim so she can eat it tomorrow for lunch when she goes to work. So then she doesn't have to waste money buying anything or make anything tonight for lunch. They're very um, slimy. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Usually with sausages, they're not as slimy. Okay, so I just cut it in half. Pop these on the grill, or not the grill, the pan. My mom actually used to be vegetarian, and then now that she takes care of my nieces and nephews, she isn't vegetarian anymore because she just has to cook for them. So it's hard for her to cook for them. It's hard for her to cook for them, like the kids, and then cook for herself. So she stopped being vegetarian, I think like a year and a half ago, and started eating meat again. But she used to make us vegetarian dishes, and I remember Carlos and I were just so mind blown because they taste so freaking good, like so absolutely delicious. So I was gonna put oil in, but I wanted to Google real quick because since Kim is vegetarian, I didn't want to use the wrong oil. So it says I can use avocado oil, coconut oil, olive oil, and canola oil, I believe. Just wanna make sure I do the right thing. So I actually have oil right here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in. We are good to go. I'm lazy today, as you guys can tell. We're just putting this straight into the pot. Also with these non nonstick pans, you don't have to use oil because they're just so extremely good. Everything slips off, but I just love a little oil. I just want to keep them sticky and also hand wash them because I used to put them in the dishwasher and that's not good because it takes off the non-stick coat. And these are already washed. They're just ready to eat. I'm gonna make sure I use something different for Kim. supposed to be here at 2 o'clock. She just sent me her location at 2.10, so she won't be here until like 3 o'clock. She decided today she's gonna run on Mexican time, which if you guys watch my vlogs, then you know the inside joke with all of us that literally Carlos, Veronica, and Ruben, and basically Carlos' family, they all run on Mexican time, so I always have to expect them an hour later. But I don't know why, I literally just like, I get surprised every time, but I should be used to it. It's been like four years of this. So I am going to make my coffee now. I, I already talked about these. I'll link them down below because a lot of people ask on my Instagram story. These mason jars come with a cap and the cap has a little hole and it comes with a glass straw. Glass straws are my favorite. They're just so easy to clean and I like that I can see through them and they don't hurt my teeth. The metal ones just don't work for me. But since Kim is going to be coming a little bit later, perfect time for a little coffee coffee break, which I'm very excited about. We have our little coffee thing. Oh, last week, I think I shared this with you guys. This thing, I bought this to try. It's the Starbucks cold brew, vanilla sweet cream one. I like it, but I don't love it. I don't think I'll be rebuying it. Um, rebuying it? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna buy it again. I actually really love the caramel macchiato. That is what we're doing today. Although I'm very, very hungry, so I hope she drives safe but fast. <laughs> The steak looks so good. And I love these cups because they're just the perfect size. I felt like my other mason jars were so big, so I was like pouring so much coffee. 
And I wasn't finishing all of it, you know? Ooh, hopefully that wasn't a lot of creamer. Also, with these straws that come with the glass mason jar, don't use it to mix because they'll easily break. I already snapped one in half the other day. Mm. Oh my god, so good. Actually, it's a blessing in disguise that she's coming a little later. I can get some work done. So we'll go get some work done. The steak though, ooh, it's so good. I hope Kim doesn't mind. I, I want to try one of the plant-based sausages that she's eating. They smell amazing. Oh my, wow. That is so full of flavor. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is actually so freaking good. Oh my god, it's filled with flavor. I'll have to dig the bran out of the trash can. Oh my god, that was amazing. I'll link it down below. That was so good. I would totally eat that with white rice every day. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. I forgot to tell you a story. I feel like this, sorry at the beginning of this video, it's just like me chit-chatting with you guys, but yeah, no, I rarely do this, but I do talk a lot, so I do apologize. So a few days ago, I was literally going to my mom's house. I had just parked in the driveway, and as I'm parking, I see this lady walking her dog. It was a cream golden retriever, like the sweetest, sweetest boy ever. Turns out his name is Scout. He's so, so sweet. And I was like, oh, you know, just another person walking their dog. And so as I'm getting out of the car, I see her we're face to face and I'm like oh my god your dog is so cute like you know um is it okay if I pet your dog and she was like I found this dog on the street and I was like oh my goodness here we go again if you guys are new to my channel I am like a dog whisperer I find dogs on the street all the time or they like run up to me and I basically reunite them with their owner or I find them new homes if there's no owner but anywho I was like oh my god here we go again and I was on a time crunch because this is happening at my mom's house and she lives in Orange County, which is like an hour from my house. So I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I was, I had an appointment like in like two hours. And at the same time, I had another dog that was in my car because I was transporting this dog to hit her new home here in my area. So it was just so complicated. I took the dog because I think she was painting one of the houses and she was like in the middle of working. She's like, I don't know what to do. I was like, you know, the first thing you're gonna do when you find a dog on the street is obviously examine the dog for like any injuries. Just, you know, check the dog out. Like, is it well groomed? How's the teeth? And this dog, Scout, the golden retriever, was just so well groomed. The teeth was beautiful. He looked really young and he was so, so nice. And so I was like, you know what? Go on with your job. We'll take the dog. So Michelle was with me at the time. So Michelle and I took Scout to the vet and he was microchipped, but they said that his microchip wasn't registered. And I was like, oh, I was like, okay, that usually happens. That happened to Honey and Kara that we found a few weeks ago, which they are reunited with their parents, which I'm excited about. So I was like, okay, I don't know what to do. I think the only thing we can do now is we know where the dog was found. Let's go back to my mom's neighborhood and knock on every door. We literally park in my mom's neighborhood and then we see this truck and this guy is in a truck and he has his windows down and he's like panicking like you can see he's just like looking for something and I was like I was like oh my god I was like could that be his owner so then we see him drive and then he makes a u-turn and he comes back to us and he's like by any chance did you guys see a, a, a dog a golden retriever and I was like Oh my god, so I don't use this lightly, but I truly believe it was like a miracle that happened Like what are the chances that right when Michelle and I park Scout's owner comes around the corner looking for Scout He was so happy to see his owner It turns out that his wife accidentally left the door the front door open and it happened that that day We had like the Santa Ana winds so it was super windy So the door flew open and Scout got curious because he's an indoor dog So he went outside and took a little walk and basically that's what happened whenever you guys find dogs I have done it so many times that I feel like I'm so used to it The first thing I do is obviously examine them and then I take them to the vet You have to see if they're microchipped my main goal when I find dogs is to reunite them to an owner There is somebody out there that's missing their dog like I can't imagine missing one of my boys I would just be panicking so however I remember the vet, the vet was like, let me call you back because the vet was able to contact the vet that gave the dog the microchip and that's how we worked backwards to find the owner. And I think 45 minutes after Scout was reunited with his dad, the chip company actually, the microchip company actually called me and said, hey, we found the owners, like this is the name, phone number and address. And I was like, oh my God, like, thank you so much. Yeah, so it, it was just, it was such a crazy time. That's what happened. <laughs> It was wild, you guys, but he was the sweetest. I feel like I'm just meeting dogs like every other day. Kim is finally here. Where is she? She said she's like five minutes away. Oh, 
that doesn't mean she's here. I thought she was like outside. See, that's her. I think she's here. That's her. Oh, it's just Brooke. <laughs> Talking to that little old man. Does Kim eat a lot? No, huh? Yeah, I, don't think so. I always have to ask, depending on the rice portions. That's enough rice. I popped her plant-based sausages back in the air fryer just to warm them up. Can we do Carlos's? my bowl. Oh, Thea's here. Hi. Yeah, I think you get a snack. Here, Thea. Well, Thea has a snack. I don't have it. I was like, why did you bring that, bro? I don't have it. Thea has it. Oh, we sitting at the dinner table? Oh, I don't know. It's up to you guys. Here, Kim. Your beautiful bowl. I got you plant-based sausages that taste bomb. Wait, I want to try them. They're so good. Mm -hmm. They're actually really bomb. So this is just plants? Yeah. yeah. Here, I kept the wrapper. It kind of tastes like jerky too. Crafted with apples, maple syrup, and nutmeg. Mm. No, they're not bad. What's your space is different? Does it Rocky. taste really so good? It looks so different. Rocky. You got his ears yeah. off. So, remember he had like the long ears? We didn't know he had these cute ears behind it. Hello friends! Hey babe, we're kind of matching. I know. I'm very nervous because I'm attempting something that I've never done before, but I, I'm very confident in myself. I am making Mexican rice for the first time today for dinner. I saw it kind of on TikTok. It's like Mexican rice with like steak and this green sauce over. I've never done any of this before. I've watched unlimited videos on TikTok and YouTube. So let's let's just, I don't think I'm gonna talk. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start cooking and then we'll have Carlos try it. I'm very nervous. Onions kind of smell good. Do you like it? I don't mind the smell of onions. They um, smell kind of good, right? Yeah, I'm not a fan of the taste as much. I do like the smell though. I don't mind onions if there's like something over it to cover up the taste. Like the smell of grilled onions is so good. Yeah, this onion smells amazing. You guys, I went to look at Christmas trees today. And she bought three. No, I didn't. I didn't buy anything. <laughs> I was trying to find the Christmas tree that we had like three years ago and I found it. It was at Michael's. But I realized that we used to live in an apartment where the ceilings were much lower and now our house is not, our ceilings are nine feet. So I think we're gonna look for like an eight feet Christmas tree. Cause we saw, I saw the seven and a half in person today and I think it'll look small in the living room, but I am going to buy it for the front of the house. None of the avocados were ready. I think it's too mushy. It's your first time, gangsta. Okay. I'm so nervous. Be honest, okay? Okay. For your first time, that's not bad at all. Are you sure? Yeah. But you see how it's too mushy? No, I like mushy rice. Oh, I think I put too much tomato. Mm-hmm. Too much tomato? Try uh, But for your first time, it's not bad at all. Really? Yeah, like it's okay. actually, like, I'm actually surprised how well it came out. Too much tomato. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That green sauce is bomb. The green sauce? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little less tomato and then it would be perfect. It's not bad though. Really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's not baby. Oh, I will. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, this green sauce is actually fire. It's really good. Imagine dipping like a warm piece of bread in the green sauce. Oh yeah. I'm actually I'm actually gonna get some of this bread right now. Just like this. 
Oh. Yeah. Okay, not bad for my first try. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, too much tomato. I also think it's too mushy. I feel like when I eat Mexican rice, it's a little bit fluffy. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, mine's like it's a little mushy. bit, it's a little bit less wet. Yeah, mine's really more airy. Or is it because I just finished cooking? You're supposed to let it sit. I mean, I will be honest with you. You like, if I ever tried that, like, mine would, mine would not be good. <laughs> but what? If I ever tried making rice, it would not be good. I don't know how to make rice at all. You guys should try the green sauce over the steak. Oh yeah. Mm. I would devour this with white rice. Sir. Hello. Hi, sir. Oh my God, you got so big, Bob. Everyone's watching you grow up. So hyper, has so much energy. Well, you guys requested Veronica, she's here. Hello. Hi. <laughs> We're making taquitos today. So Very good. excited. We literally got That's everything. So That's a tradition. That's yeah, what we right. do. I'm Ruben. Ruben is a The guy like, was like, do you want anything else? And I was like, oh no, not today. I think we have enough food. Okay, so first, before okay. the blender kind of starts, we'll make the agua. Oh, okay. Water, okay? I'm filming this. I can remake it. Okay, we are, are we, is it just you and I? Is it all of us? Or what do you want to do? You want to do it with us? Sure. Veronica makes the best cucumber lime. Yeah. Or lemon today. Okay. Cucumber lemon. Carlos, you are wow. going to be on lemon duty. You guys are proud. All right, let me wash your your lemons. Everybody, wash your hands, wash your eyes. Yes, yes. That one is just soaked. Oh, she brought that one. Okay. The is shrimp didn't already? look good. No. Because they never do it right, Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing first? Okay, so Carlos is taking care of the lemon stitch. Okay. The most important part, if you want to start a dish out. Yes. Up the Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. You I'm good at that. You can put it on. Oh, these are bougie ass gloves. Where'd you get them? I went to the meat section. Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm sir, can I have four pairs? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make the salsa. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me the salsa. Okay, we're putting it in aluminum. This is like what you do with like a tortilla. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We have one of those. Yeah. We're gonna put aluminum, right? Okay. Put it like a pretty high. Ah. I'll take over. Oh, you this want me to do it? Yeah, this is you, honey. Really? I'm scared. Just okay, put it on just top. put them on there. Yeah, just put them on top. All of it? Yeah, all of it. Oh wow. I didn't use tomatoes last night, and I mine turned into like this green sauce. Love it. Okay, cool. And then you're gonna want to put the. Would you, guys get a, would you guys get us that barbecue spot, Carlos? Oh my God, everything. They're so good. Uh, <laughs> okay, all of that. Oh, that we ordered. What is it called? Uh, Felix's. Their tri tip is bomb. You guys and it looked like it looked like pretty authentic. Pretty okay, and then now the jalapenos. Okay, okay. Some way, somehow, it all has to fit. Two. Okay, cool. And then you just uh, fold no, it in. Pretty good. Down by yeah, this. Good. So this is gonna what you're well, what pretty much gonna was, do uh, to make the salsa. Like so oh. it's gonna be a salsa de moncajete oh, okay. where we're gonna yeah, hand no, mash. Oh! The Oh, um, we're not blending it. No, we're not blending okay. it. This is like authentic oh OG. Like with the rock. Yeah, I have a thing. Yeah. This is a fun double date. Ooh, also. We're all working for our food. I love it. So, I don't know if you, have you, do you like your yogurt? Yeah. Okay, so right now, Costco's having the sale. Is it literally the best? Have you had these? No. What are those? They're the Giovanni Slip. S'mores, dude. Oh my god. Amazing. I'll have you try one later. Okay. It's definitely like a dessert. And they have like key lime pie crumble, s'mores. Oh, those look good. I haven't been to Costco in forever. Oh, that's so good. You can cook, you can pretty much cook it mm -hmm. and just boil the chicken, but I do this sometimes with more flavor. And then you're going to see After. what more flavor we're going to put with it. Okay. Which is we're going to add onions, jalapenos, and tomatoes. Okay. And chicken bouillon. I think Carlos has a request to roll. Oh yeah, we're rolling today. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we're rolling today. To roll the taquitos? Oh. That one day, I just did that because I didn't have a lot of chicken. Oh. And it makes it look like more. Right. Oh, you, we always want <laughs> I see. Yeah, he was like, oh, I wish they were rolled. No, they were really good though. Oh, it was so good. This is the hardest duty to be on. Because I just want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so how much, how much lemon is that, B? Um, I have no idea. I think it was like seven, eight lemon. Probably right? like seven okay. or eight, yeah. We just do that and then we just squeeze them. And then we put cucumbers, one whole cucumber, two, it's obviously no exact measurements, but it all tastes good. And then we just need some water and sugar and that's it. All right, and just water. How much water? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> just put we just wing it. That looks like about a cup. We are just wing it. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like about a cup of water. Cup of water, like one whole cucumber. Mom, it's your, your preference. Seven, eight. Just wing it. 
Lemon. Lemons. Pers Honestly, it's preference, I guess. Preference. Like, if you like it more lemony, you know, or yeah. like more limey. Honestly, at the whatever. end of the day, we're gonna put some sugar, so. Oh my god, that smells so good. Away. Is that the thing? Yeah. Yeah. We'll just blend it. No, yeah, uh, Chia's fine. Do you have a Chia? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay Michi tacos. Okay. All I'm, ready, all I'm missing is a rim case. Do you have chicken feet, Carlos? Chicken feet? No, I haven't. <laughs> yeah. Should we do this one too? Yeah, all of it, all of it. So that way we have enough tacos to go home. Nice. Let's see, better or more? I'm sorry. Super sure? sure. No, I think that's good. Oh my god. I mean, or I don't know. I mean, I like sweet. Here, look at it. You oh, it. that's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. Ooh. Should we chop it, friend? Yeah. Do you put a little bit of water or no? Yeah. No, I want it all, girl. Oh, you want it all? Yeah, give it to me. Yeah, yeah. So the blender doesn't work overtime. I love cilantro. Cilantro. Oh, girl. Actually, I need some cilantro for the salsa, so I'm going to see. Yeah, no, take some. Oh, your blender's quiet. Mine's like yelling at me in a different language. Oh, no, you just push it down, babe. What? You just push it down. If you put more water, it'll change it. Could be better, you know, but I'm just kidding. Hey! <laughs> you, you know what? Your turn. Come on. Oh, all that arm workout. Carlos, Carlos, yeah, Carlos. All that talk. Let's see it. Can we just look at all the sauce we have? Wow, this water's fire. Mm. Ooh, nice. Nah. Veronica, that tastes amazing. Sell it in a bottle, in a glass bottle. <laughs> For one and a half. Whoa, that looks so good. You might find uh, some here and there. <laughs> Oh, we're just dropping food. It's fine. It's because like, I started with the onion. Wow. We need one. Yeah. The ones in the Asian culture are like deeper. Yeah. Because we just use it to like mix and then we just mm -hmm. do that. And look, all this burn part is like the good stuff. That's oh, really? the best yeah. part, yeah. You're doing great. Or oh maybe it just parks like that? Check it, it out. <laughs> <laughs> really, Kim? It just parks like it that. It just parks like that. <laughs> it literally just. <laughs> <laughs> so we need some oil. Does your cap fall off? Just hold it on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Put in some oil on. Beautiful. Uh huh. 
jalapenos, yep. Awesome, and wow. then you want to cut all that. That's just going to give it flavor. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everybody makes taquitos in different ways. This is just how my mom makes it. Okay. So I'll just cut a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. All right. And then as soon as you see, yeah, all the onions are like clear, so mm -hmm. drop it in. Wow, that looks good. This looks amazing. So we do this, fill it up, make them thick. She's like, I'm too fucking hungry. Got some toothpicks. So everything just stays in. Roll them. Ah. And the toothpicks, so everything just stays in. Ah, love it. Look at that. Easy. You guys, look how handsome Mateo is. Mateo, oh, you're so handsome. I'm learning how to make Mexican rice. Last night was a good start, you guys, but we're learning how to improve. Oil. Wait for that to heat up. Yeah. yeah. For whatever measurements you do, you're gonna do the same. Oh, okay. So if you're gonna oh. use this, so you can use a measuring cup or anything. Mm, I did too much water. Yeah. It's ah, happens. okay. It to me still. Yeah, oh, okay. So we'll use the same cup of whatever that you do of rice. I see, I see. Yeah, I did two cups of rice, and then I saw in the video she did four cups of water, and it came out too mushy. But you have to, like, you cannot... Yeah, I didn't touch it at all. For, like, 25 minutes? 20 minutes. Oh. Mm. Sometimes I still don't get it. I'm going to make it, like, 20 more times before I get it. <laughs> Honestly, I still don't get it. We are back. We threw in some onions. Sauteing them. Is there a color we're looking for, V? Like a brown? Translucent onions and a very light, 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 light brown. Okay, I missed this whole step yesterday. We put tomato sauce. Homegirl had one job was to tell me to make sauce. the whole thing. No half. Half. Okay. But if you have one of the little ones. Yeah. Oh, those are perfect. Yeah. Saute it. Saute. And what's after this step? Uh, just water. Two okay. Of water. And then you let it. Simmer on low for 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. And then after 20 minutes, you take off the lid. You just want to do a little bit. You kind of don't want to take off the lid because that helps it like cook through. Oh. Kind of all that water just like cook. All that water to go like. Damn, you guys! I just put my rice in a rice cooker. This is science. Ooh, it looks so good. Mm -hmm. Don't eat the toothpick. Don't eat the toothpick. Oh my gosh! Ooh, you guys. It wraps it in like saran wrap. Yeah, I didn't know they were wrapped. I didn't know they were wrapped. And I started eating it. Mm. Yeah, it still needs more. Yeah, so I ate um, ice cream rolls with... Am I supposed to do threes? Everyone's doing threes. I feel like yeah. that. I'm doing four. <laughs> I did four. I'm just grabbing. I'm just grabbing and dipping. Just the mm. Mm. Here, Kim. What? Mm. Mm. Thank you. It's because you, you, you you're, you're kind of slow. <laughs> I'm not eating it right. You're no. slowing down. Thank slowing you, friends. You know how you always, uh, you know, uh, peel our shrimp and all that fun jazz. Mm. It's always so good. This is so good. Wait, can you buy me this bit? This is actually kind of dope. It's so easy. Yeah. I love it. Nice yes. cleaning. Bon appetit, y'all. Bon appetit. Oh my god. Is it spicy? No, it's so fucking good, Ruben. Uh -oh. <laughs> I was like, is it okay? I'm having a moment. Oh my god. This is not lettuce, huh? That was lettuce. Is it? This is really thickly chopped lettuce. Sorry. Why? Because <clears throat> it tastes amazing. Mm. And every now and then you can put some papa peel on top of it. That's if you don't have salsa, though. But we got the good goods. Oh my god, everything together is really good. Mm -hmm. Hey, the sour cream is bomb. So good. That salsa fire. Mm. Your sauce is really good. Mm. So good all together, right? Mm -hmm. oh. This is like everything. Wow. Right? Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. That first bite, I wish I could relive it. Oh, that is so bomb. Mm -hmm. 